All right, welcome to the Right Now Project. The Right Now Project is a podcast about finding and owning who we are. It's about learning to trust ourselves, finally. It's about learning to trust our guts. It's about uncovering our authenticity and allowing who we are to soar. My name is Guy McPherson. I'm the founder here, and this is my journey too. If you're looking for something easy, this is not it. However, if you're ready to step up, ready to explore who you are, the ups and downs, the scars and scrapes, and realize the incredible value in that, this is your place. Let's get started. You know, it's funny talking about the healing process and the healing journey. Uh, as I'm going through it, I certainly don't presume to have uh, any special knowledge on this topic. What I've noticed for myself, you know, when all this went down, when I was told, guy, it's over, I'm no longer in love with you, I'm no longer attracted to you, and by the way, I'm having an affair, blah, 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 I want to be out of this marriage. When all that went down, I found myself, like I've said, in, and I'm sure, uh, like I have, uh, other people have described, you know, this whirlwind of emotion and sadness, depression, you know, what the fuck, all those things. And it got to a point where quickly, it really kind of quickly got to a point where I was like, I am not going to allow this and this person to fucking dictate how I'm going to live my life, right? I'm not going to be a depressed person sitting in the corner. I'm not going to be miserable. I can't, I can't do it. I've done it before, you know, and it, it, I, I, life is too short. And I remember I started getting up real early. I started working out, kind of taking charge. You know, I needed to be proactive. I needed to keep moving. I needed to do something for me, for my life, to keep con- not so much control over, but to help me define the, a, a particular quality of life that I wanted. All the while, uh, we were living together for about four or five months, and that was very uncomfortable and very awkward and we've got two young kids and managing that you know talking to friends really helped i remember i saw a therapist or over the phone rather over the zoom whatever it was didn't really help um it, it just that particular therapist was not a good fit for me i remember talking to a life coach who was really good but i uh you know, I saw that person for three or four times. I, I told you about my divorce coach who I saw. That really helped. But as you move, as I moved through that, I realized that I've got to, I've got to take control of this whole situation. And that's not a easy place to be in a lot of times because it's, it's, it's more comforting sometimes to lock yourself into a healing path. Oh, let me go with that person and they're going to help me and guide me. Or let me go with this group and they're going to help me and guide me and and so forth. And maybe that'll work for some people. But what I've, what I've found I needed to do was to take control of my own situation. Now, Look, I realize if you're listening to this, you've got your own situation. Everybody's is different to a certain degree. And mine has been defined by the convergence of my marriage for the last 15 years, what I'm doing for my, my, my work, you know, all the, the, the threads of one's life form the, the context, right? 
But I said to myself, I need to take control. And for me, that meant starting to really be aware of my thoughts, my beliefs, my actions. And there were, there would be times, of course, where, you know, you would go down that path of how the fuck did this happen? How could this person, you know, quote unquote, do this to me? And not that I ever assumed this, a, a certain victim mentality, but of course, I went down that 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 path, and I, I quickly, you, you, I felt my body just becoming kind of folded over and 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 weak and just inert, inept. I was like, "What? I no, I can't do that." But it's hard, <laughs> you know, being aware of what the hell you're doing from day to day is friggin' hard. Um, and yet, you know, I started doing a lot of reading about just increasing my awareness and looking at my beliefs, this whole experience, you know, I think last, and I've previously said this, but last week, I think I likened it to just being smacked in the head with a two by four. And that experience just <laughs> does a number of things, right? It just fucks you up, but it also can wake you up. And I've I've tried to use it. I mean, it, it, it's not I've tried to use it. It has. It's made me realize and question all these things. Who am I? What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Am I what kind of a parent I am? How the fuck did this happen? How did I let this happen? Did I let this happen? To what degree am I responsible for the way this went down? Right? And and I am a, and I, as I say that, I'm not saying that I am not responsible at all for any of this. I am. I realize I am. But not for what my ex has done. I'm not responsible for that at all, right? But I am responsible for how I move forward and how I per- perceive this and interpret this. And man, it's been an eye-opening experience for me. But it's, I think today what I wanted to say is, you know, I feel I have a very, I'm a generally very positive person, right? I'm very Let's fucking do this. And yet it's it's easy to kind of slip back. You know, the, one thought can take you back, right, into thinking uh, negatively, into thinking that you're a victim and, and, and just go down that rabbit hole and get caught into that quicksand. And I think it's very natural. It's normal, right? Most of us are not robots. I'm certainly not, but we have to go easy on ourselves. But I think we also have to, as we move through a process like this, uh, you have to, you, look, I, I, I have to speak just personally. I feel like I have to assume responsibility for my own shit and how I'm moving forward and, and how I'm stepping one foot in front of the other, right? And just like in meditation, when you find yourself wavering off, bringing yourself back, bringing your focus back, right? Because as they say, where you place your focus is where you place your energy. And if you're going to be placing your energy and placing your focus on all of the negative stuff that went down, that's where all your energy is going to be going. And having said that, I realize, right, You've got to, to a certain degree, you've got to, you've got to think about that stuff to a certain degree, but to a certain degree and to a limited degree and move forward. And, you know, I'm, I'm really, I feel I'm really beginning to get excited about my future and I don't know what it's going to look like. I have some ideas, I have some plans, um, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And... I think that's a major step for me. Um, And that's what I wanted to say. All right, have an awesome weekend.